American League Championship Series starts today. Rosters are due this morning. The Rangers just posted theirs, and we're going to talk about it next here on the Texas Rangers Clubhouse. How beautiful was that? Did you hear what I said? The Rangers are in the ALCS. We take on Houston starting tonight, Sunday. ALCS rosters were due today, and they're out. We're going to take a look at the entire thing because... Well, I want to. I'm excited about tonight's game. I'm excited about this series, and I'm excited about this roster. Let's start with the pitchers. Cody Bradford has been real good for us. Aroldis Chapman, let's talk about him. We picked him up a month before the trade deadline, in my opinion, to get out two lefties. Kyle Tucker and Jordan Alvarez. Now, they both hit lefties pretty good, but obviously you want a fireballing lefty against them instead of a righty. He's been downright bad. So it'll be interesting, interesting to see. We traded, well, a pretty darn good starting pitcher. He's already had success in Kansas City. He's going to have a good career. And I believe, deep in my heart, that we traded him for this. For the last series or two in the, in the, post, in the regular season. And by chance, if we got to the playoffs against Houston. And here we are. So I really want to see what Bochi does with Chapman in general, and will he use them with Tucker versus Tucker and versus Alvarez? Moving on, we got Dane Dunning, who may or may not get a start. That game three start will be either him or Max, I'm assuming. Nady Baldy, who's the starter for the third spot. John Gray, who threw a bullpen yesterday. Andrew Haney, who is going to be key. I just don't know how they'll use him. That'll be interesting and fun to watch. Jose LeClerc has been the closer and has been good. We've got Jordan Montgomery, who will be starting game one today. Martin Perez, who could actually have some very vital innings, or we might not even see him. Josh Spores, who's been great since he's been back off the IL. Max Scherzer, who has deemed himself ready. I think he starts game three, or at least pitches in game three. We'll see what happens there. Will Smith, who's been not around much. He might be the answer, though, for Jordan Alvarez and Kyle Tucker. We shall see. And then finally, Chris Stratton, who's frankly had a really, really good year since we picked him up from St. Louis, but not lately. The infield is pretty basic. What we expect is what we got. Josh Young over at third, Nate Lowe over at first, Corey Seager at short, Marcus Simeon at second. The only backup infielder is Josh Smith. Catchers, we've got three. We've got Mitch Garver, we've got Jonah Heim, and we've got Austin Hedges. I like it. It gives us some depth, and obviously Hedges is bringing some value, even though he doesn't play a lot. And that leaves the outfield, which has been key for us. The phenom, Evan Carter, Adolis Garcia, Travis Jankowski, Robbie Grossman, and Leo Leodi Tavares. That is the entire ALCS roster for the Texas Rangers. Going up against Houston starting tonight. First to four gets to go to the World Series. Well, they will play not the Dodgers, not the Braves. The Diamondbacks or the Phillies should be interesting. I'll be watching. I'm excited about it. I usually do a lineup short. Roster felt like the right thing to do, but there's no way I could do it as a short. And I just thought it deserved his own video. Not a lot of surprises on here. What will be surprise possibilities is how they use Chapman, how they use Will Smith. Will Stratton pitch it all? Will Martin pitch it all? Where does Haney go? And the biggest one is probably Max and Dane Dunning, who pitches game three, should be interesting. I think it'll come down to what happens in game one and game two. Predictions and more. Got a couple videos that I'll probably be putting out today if you're interested in the Texas Rangers. This is the place to be. This is the Texas Rangers Clubhouse. My name is Jeff. Thanks for watching. Have the best day ever. And go Rangers.